James St. James, and you're listening to Classical 98, and this is the Classical Crazies. We are a wacky, off-the-wall radio program. So, James, <laughs> how was your weekend? Oh, well, it was lovely. I, you know, again, Ravinia, <laughs> you know me and Ravinia. We're very serious about making people laugh. That was Bach's immortal classic, Sleepers Awake and D Minor. <laughs> oh, James, you card. <laughs> oh, I can't get anything <laughs> by you. Of course, that was Sleepers Awake and E Minor. A little silliness there. <laughs> I've been gingerly waking up Chicago for nearly 15 years now, and although we all find the great composers a soothing way to start the day, I also believe that a little tickle, a, a bit of an amusement, a, how could we say a little jelly in the tart, uh, also is pleasing to the palate. And of course by palate I mean the, the ear. I've been working with James for close to seven years now, yes. and Every day, something new. I never know what to expect. <laughs> I wake up in the morning and I think, what is that oddball going to do today? That was Mozart's Horn Concerto Number no. 4. <laughs> or should I say, Mozart? <laughs> there we go on that one. <laughs> <laughs> there ought to be a law. Oh, James. <laughs> it's a great honor to work with James St. James. Um, He's just, he knows so much. He's taught me a lot. Like, uh, uh, for instance, it's Wagner. Wagner, not, not Wagner, which I originally thought. What makes it for me? The pranks. That's my time to shine. I bring it. Hardcore. Good morning, James and Joan. As you know, cello fellow Yo-Yo Ma is currently appearing at our very own Symphony Hall. Uh, I'm going to place a whoopee cushion on the chair he will be sitting on during his <laughs> performance. Obo, at exactly what time does Yo-Yo Ma begin his concert? It's in 11 and a half hours. Um, Al, uh, is there any chance we could go long today? Any chance? Al? I also think it's important for a morning show to appeal to the common man. That's why we've now added reports dealing with the day's sporting endeavors. White Sox hang on to defeat the Tribe 5-3. Say, Carl, that was quite the home run hit last night by that ball player. There were no home runs hit last night. Well, during the pledge drive, I turned over to watch the game, and I distinctly saw the ball land in the fans. That was probably a foul ball. I'm a Cubs fan. Oh, you. And I'm a Sox fan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we go back and forth like this all the time, Carl. Just some of the fun we have here on Classical 98 with the Classical Crazies. Thanks, Carl. That was, of course, Carl Blondine with today's sports figures. As long as there is pain in the world and the desire for laughter in people's hearts, there will always be the Classical Crazies. 